Hey, I'm just gonna do a little review on my Centro knitting machine here that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and make a hat here for you just to show you how it works and how, how it all goes. So, uh, basic yarn, you gotta use a three or a four, otherwise it gets a little jammed up. So if you use size three or four, you're good to go. But basically all you have to do here is you start with this black one. It doesn't really matter necessarily what color you start with. You go in the black one, and then you go behind the next, and you just go forward, backward, and you keep on going until you're all the way around. Leave it kind of loose like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up now. All I'm doing is skipping every other one until I get to the other end. I'm just turning the handle here. Once you're to the end, you just put it into this little slider thing here, and then um, you can put it on one of these, I always put it on the loose one. The yarn wants to be loose, otherwise it, it gets jammed. Again, it's really nice as long as you keep everything loosey-goosey. And then you just start spinning the handle and you'll see that it'll miss a little bit the first row and then it'll start picking it up once you get to the second row. And now I'm literally just spinning the handle and you, as you can see, as it's going around, it's knitting. Now once the yarn gets a little tighter, I, I just pull a bunch of it out and let it go to the floor because it does need to stay loose. So you keep on spinning around in circles and you kind of go as fast as you want. As long as you watch and make sure that as you're going around, it's, it's getting on all these little loops here. Every once in a while, it'll skip one. If it skips one, that's not a big deal. But if it starts skipping a bunch of them, you have to just do your hat over or whatever it is you're making. I've made hats and scarves and I made some like little socks, anything that's a tube. The other thing to know is that you can do flats here too. If you flip this little button up, you can do a flat piece of uh, yarn into something. So I haven't really used that feature too much, but I've been really enjoying this one. So I'm gonna keep on going here quick. For a baby hat, I like to make baby hats for uh, to donate and give away. For a baby hat, I just let it get just down, I don't know, down a couple inches. And then to take it off when you're done, all you have to do is cut your end here. I'm just gonna cut it down there a little bit. And then when you come back to the top, you can use a little needle that they give you. Oops. When you get back to the top, what you need to do is pull this out and watch wherever the one is that you're on when it goes down, that's the one you're gonna start with when you take everything off. Now to take it off, you just spin it forward a little bit and then you start on that one where you, where you left off. I always hold the next one down because these are all loose. Everything from their back is loose now. And you just pull it, pull it off of the thing. I do a couple at a time. And see that last one is still caught in there. That's good, we want that. And you just keep on spinning it forward and pulling it off. Now I'm gonna keep on doing that. So I just took four of them off and I always hold the next one down because these are loose. And we're almost done. I don't know how many minutes it's been, but this, this is almost a completed project already. Okay. I'm gonna just show you here the ending. I'm not gonna weave it all in, but basically all you do is either, you could tie it off or weave it in or whatever you want. They stay still pretty good. But we're, we're, to our, we're to our last one here, our last stitch. And I'm just gonna pull it out, pull it tight, and that has made the lid. Now I would just weave those all in, uh, and I'll weave the bottoms in too, but as you can see, we have a little, like a little baby hat here. I would just weave that all in. Here's one that's completed, and another one. And I've also made some scarves and things like that to give away too, so. Um, there you go, that's my review. It's a pretty good machine as long as you don't use too thick of yarn. You have to use a size three or a size four, otherwise it will get jammed up. But um, pretty fun little machine, enjoy.